Now we're going to look at the various drawing tools which are very important for uh, all sorts of education. Um, we could, we could uh, change, as you can see, everything that I do is with, uh, with my fingers for right click or for left click. We could change that to right click. Um, but below that we have drawing tools which we've already looked at. The various, we've got pencil, we've got brush pen, we've got pen, washing brush and brush board. Just the washing brush for instance. We've got three different sizes uh, of the washing brush but let's choose the largest size and we'll choose red. So, as you can see, we can, we can paint a, a, a pretty picture with it. Um, we'll start a new page here. Uh, again, we can just do straight lines. Just in case our hand is a little bit shaky. Uh, we can have many, many 2D shapes. Um, pentagon. Right triangle. And, uh, I'll just show a little more. Let's see. Uh, semicircle. Okay, so we have the parallelogram again. You can go any size, any direction. And again, if it's not particularly where you want it, go back to the mouse and we can move it around. And we can also do 3D shapes. 3D shapes, again, they look. of them here. So there's uh, the 3D shapes you can do, many of those there. Now we also have a number of other things. We have the function here. recognized as you go around the page. Um, we have uh, point to point. So for those who aren't going to draw straight lines again, you can draw your triangle, squares, whatever it is you wish to draw. We then have pie chart, bar chart and table and all these need inputs so I won't show you these in a moment. Uh, we have the text then. You click wherever you want on the board and a text box comes up uh, where you can change your fonts, your size, uh, all the normal things you would do in a Word document. You can then choose to say if you wish to bring it in with hand recognition or with keyboard. You can choose the keyboard here. So we have the keyboard. function. So again, if you don't want to go back to your computer and you want to do a bit of typing, this is an easy way to do it. You just tip the board somewhere else. Um, you can get rid of the keyboard here as well. Um, and again, you can, you can type uh, wherever you want. Um, also, we can use the fill. I think we've shown the fill and the eraser. The eraser is very handy because we have lots of different erasers. Just to again show you the fill, if we were doing a, doing a nice drawing, we we'll again, you can see from this what a great artist I am. I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure if it's human or if it's not, but anyway, we'll, uh, let's, uh, Try the, the fill here, and we'll fill with 
three on the top. And I think it's a bit of a yellow face. So you get the idea, very easy to do drawings, even easier if you're a good artist. And then we have our eraser here, which uh, as, as before we can we can take take lumps out or we could